Hi everyone, welcome back. In my previous video I showed how to get Angular going in the Windows Store app. Today I'm going from there and manually bootstrap Angular to get it to work better with the Windows Store app and I'm going to add a very simple controller to the main module. Because I like my configuration separate from the rest of my code, I'm adding a new JavaScript file to the solution and name this config.js. This file will contain some simple configuration of the application. Let's add a function. Right this way. There. Um, and this configuration will be on the uh, will be globally available throughout the application uh, so everything I put in here will can I can I use uh, everywhere I need it app config this is a function also This will contain the name of the application, which will be the name of the module also. For now I call it my app. And dependencies, any dependencies I need uh, in my Angular modules, I can add to this uh, to this array later when I need them. So I just create it for now and I return both the App name oh, there and the dependencies dependencies there. And this function needs to be there. Now let's add it to the default.html right over here Let's separate the lines there next we need to create the module we get some nice intelligence here at the module the module needs to have a name so I can use the App config here. Of course, this isn't needed in this case. There. Now this should work. Yes, app name and app config dot dependencies. So this will be the main module of our application. Now when the app is uh, uh, activated in Windows we need to bootstrap Angular. So this isn't needed anymore. This will be done by hand. Angular dot Angular dot bootstrap Let's place it on the document. And what model do we need? Well, let's the app config dot app name. There. Um, let's see. Now, when we run, would run this application, it should still be working like before. Yes, 25. Next step is to add the first controller. I personally like to add this to the controllers. New JavaScript file, main con 
controller there this time we need to start with a self-executing function to scoping right there and just angular uh, to get the IntelliSense working one way is to just add the script to the default HTML and let Visual Studio figure out the rest. There is the Angular IntelliSense. And we're going to add this to the uh, same module as before. Go to add a controller which is named main. In this we need the scope object to add stuff to. And in this case, scope dot let's say hello equals hello world. There. Now in the default HTML, we have to specify which controller we would like to use. So let's add uh, what was main, I think. And in here, and there, just say hello. Now, if I did everything correctly, it should say hello world. And there we go. We got our first controller going. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time. See ya.